Hey guys, this is Tricker. This is gonna be my air to air tutorial part one of two. Part one is gonna be over what I usually do without the radar. Part two is gonna be on the radar functionality. So today we won't be talking about any radar functionality. We're just gonna go over combat, employment, and systems. We're here in Nevada. I got a couple MiG 21s and IL 76s set up that we can shoot down. So we'll go ahead and get right into it here. We have different modes here. First one we want to talk about is the missile mode, so we'll put in missile. We have AIM-9 P5s on the uh, wings here. They're all aspect uh, missiles, so we can fire at targets uh, coming straight on or behind. Next thing we want to do is come down to the red guarded switch, put it on guns, missile, and camera. Just right click on it. You can hear the seeker head now. There's a missile volume rheostat switch here, so you can go up or down to make it quieter or louder. We'll aim, arm the AIM-9s right here. So the AIM-9s are now armed and we can actually fire these right now if we wanted to but we're not going to do that right now so let's go over some reasons why your missiles won't fire if you have any of these other switches down here in the arm position they won't fire the red guarded switch is not in the guns missile camera if the aim nines are not armed external stores is not in the safe position so if it's not in the safe position like right here they won't fire and select jettison needs to be in the off position it's in any of the other positions, they won't fire at all. So right now you can see we have an IL-76 and a MiG-21 off our left here. And what I'm going to do is just set myself up here so I can take a AIM-9 shot at this MiG-21 that's flying to the east. So to shoot your missiles, you need to hit uh, right alt in space. So make sure you have that bound to your HOTAS, like I do. The other key we want to talk about is the missile on cage button. That is right shift in the mic key. I have that bound as well. But right now we're behind the MiG-21. We have a lock. We can actually go ahead and fire a missile right now if we wanted to. But we're going to talk about something else. We're going to talk about the missile on cage button. So right now you can see I have a lock, and if I dip the nose down, I'll lose the lock. Now I have a lock, and if I dip the nose up, I lose the lock. Let's talk about the missile on cage button. So right now I'm behind the aircraft. Now I'm holding the missile on cage button. You can tell there's a louder tone. I'll let go. It gets quieter, and I'm holding the missile on cage button again. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it, and if I move the aircraft up, I still have a lock. And if I move the aircraft down, I still have a lock. So the point of this is if this MiG-21 was turning, I would want to go ahead and lead my target with the missile on cage button held so that the missile will have a better chance of tracking to the target. Since we're just straight on here, it's okay to not use the missile on cage button, but I'm just going to use it anyway. So I'm still holding it. As you can tell, we can dip pretty far down here and still have a lock. So I'm within two miles, that's usually a pretty good range. I prefer to shoot my missiles about a mile and a half to get a good kill with the AIM-9. I'll go ahead and hit uh, right alt space, or whatever you have on your HOTAS. Box 2. And we have a good splash there. So some other keys you want to have bound to your HOTAS is dogfight missile, dogfight resume search, and dogfight guns. But like I said earlier, you can't fire a missile if your external stores is not in the safe position. So we'll go ahead and put it in the bomb position to pretend like we were just dropping a bomb. So this time I can't fire a missile. But if I do hit the dogfight missile key, I will be able to shoot a missile even though that the external stores is in the bomb position. As you can see right here, box two. Missile's tracking, he's flaring. And that missile's going after the flares. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do some uh, guns now. Since the uh, missile missed and we don't have any more missiles. 
So for bombers or transport airplanes, you want to use the A2 position on the uh, mode switch here. So we'll move it to A2. A1 is used for short range air to air combats with maneuvering targets. And A2 is for air to air combats with unaccelerated constant rate maneuvering targets. So the IL 76 isn't going to be maneuvering that much, so we'll use A2. So we're just going to pull up on him right now. Just to go over the uh, first stage and second stage of the gun. So on my X-55, I have a button bound for the first stage, so it opens up the cannons right there, you can see. If I let go, they go down. If you don't have that uh, set up, it takes about a you know, quarter of a second or half second for the guns to fire. I'll demonstrate that now, just like that. That's without me pressing the first stage button. So usually in my videos, you see me behind somebody and I'll have my first stage open, just so that way I can go ahead and shoot right away. So it's pretty easy with the A2 here. We know we're in range here, so I'll just go ahead and hold the first stage and I'll sh shoot a couple shots here, right at the pipper. And you can see those are hitting pretty good. I'm just using short controlled bursts here. As you can see, it's getting torn apart right now. He just lost one of his flaps and one of his engines on fire. There goes his other flap, and there goes his wing. So that's the A2, and for the A1, you want to use for uh, like a MiG-21 gunfight. If you're in missile mode and you run out of missiles and you're behind a MiG-21 in a dogfight, you can press the dogfight guns button, and it automatically goes to the A1. It doesn't go down here on the switch, but you can see on the pipper, it moved and it's in the A1 position now. Just some other tips with the uh, AIM 9s. You don't want to be firing the missiles too far out. Also, you don't want to be firing the missiles too close. And also, if you're in a heavy G turn, you don't want to shoot the uh, missiles because they also lose track, most likely. I hope you guys found this tutorial informational. This is part one of two. Remember, part two is going to be on radar functionality, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I got most of my information from the book as well as Chuck's guides. I'll go ahead and leave the links in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.